Warning, viewer discretion is advised. Oh, and by the way, quick disclaimer, for those who are sensitive about me talking about this certain woman, and who is this certain woman, you might ask? Get that ugly bitch off the screen! Oh God, here we go again. Where you hiding is talking about a certain woman. He's the one who is always bringing up shit. He's the always he's always the one that's always starting the beef. No. Hear me out, LL and company. Didn't even say shit about this woman. Not a damn thing. Nothing. Out of the blue. Just makes a post about me. And of course I'm blocked. You know... Other of my affiliates have noticed her actions and have came to me talking about, hey, yo, uh, where are you hiding? Uh, this chick is talking about you and you're blocked. That's some bullshit. And LL, if you're and if you're blinded <laughs> by what she says, shame on you. Because I'm here to tell the truth. She won't do that for you. You can be on my side and I can be on your side, even though we're, you know, we're kind of ops, eagles, cowboys. Yeah, yeah, and it goes for the rest of y'all. If y'all don't believe me, that's on y'all. But I'm going to tell my truth, the real truth. So I heard from a little birdie that this woman had said that the eagles are some shit. Make sure you tell hiding that. Make sure you tell hiding that. Yeah, it, it finally reached my radar. Even when I'm blocked. Even when I'm not paying attention to you. And 98% of the time, I am not paying attention to you. I got things going on in my life. Trying to get better. As I grow older, I have to make my life easier. You still find time to, you know... Make little tweets about me. And it's it's all backstabbing to me, you know. <sighs> what next do I have to say? Because I'm really about to flame this bitch. Like. Oh my God. I'm about to verbally smack this woman. And treat her like she's Tina Turner. And have her relapsing like Billie Holiday. Fuck you. Like, seriously. If you can't come to me, unblock me, and have a quick debate about this, we have nothing to talk about. I have not, I have not, I am all for debates. You're not woman enough to do that. Why are you talking behind my back? That's an issue. If you're going to say, you know, oh, where you hiding is a grasshopper fan, all this, that, and the third, and then proceed to delete the comments, you got issues. You got issues with me, too. What does that tell me? You're a bitch. We already knew you were a bitch, but this makes you an even larger bitch. I'm going to make sure. You don't say anything about me. Because I'm coming after you right now. And if you choose to respond to this, oh, uh oh, oh, remember what you said? Oh, uh, oh, uh, this is this is the last time I'm gonna be on YouTube until September 1st. I'm gonna be going on hiatus from June 1st to September 1st. Uh oh, y'all gonna miss me. <laughs> I'm going to go away because where you hide and made a video about me. He's obsessed with me. No, seems like the other way around. Seems like you keep talking about me. Why is that so? Because you're a fan, you're a fan, you're a fan. Freaky ass nigga. You can never get me. Ugh. You're a fan of me. You're my pupil, like I said weeks ago. You're a pupil. And this is a shout out to those who have been blocked by this certain woman. 
for telling the truth about her team. She can't handle the truth about her team. When somebody tells her that her team is bad, she'll go off the wall, she'll block you, and she'll think you're going personal. Nah. The real problem is you don't listen. You don't listen. And you like to pick on people. Me. Yes, me. People like me because we're out here speaking the truth. We don't sugarcoat how our team is going to do or how we think feel like our team is going to do. We're going to win the Super Bowl. Oh my God. No, we don't do that. We don't TikTok thought dance around here. No, we don't do that shit. We're realist. If we see our team losing to another team, we're going to say it. We're going to lose some games. We're not in la la land like you are, young lady. We're not. So all this yap about how the Eagles are not going to be shit and how Washington is so much better. Get off that E and stop talking about me. What do we have here now? Washington's a bunch of clowns. La, 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 la. Can't believe I got to keep speaking this kind of truth to you because the Eagles are just so much better. We're better. We're better. We prove it almost every year. You get one blue moon type of season where you're better than the Eagles once every like, what, seven fucking years. You're going to have to do better than that, Washington. And as far as you, you already know how I feel. You better take criticism. You're welcome to unblock me. I'm not asking you to. I'm not begging you to. I'm not a fan of yours. You're a fan of me. and Remember that. You can't take criticism from nobody. You can't stand nobody that talks shit about your team. And you deserve to have shit talked about your team because you'll be doing so fucking bad. 4 and 13, you don't think that's bad? You you think you're going to jump to just, what, a 13 and 4 record? Be realistic. Be realistic about your team for once. Take criticism. And I got you cornered. I got you cornered if you ever think about fucking responding to this. I got you cornered. Either you're breaking your promise or you're probably going to be half-stepping on Twitter, talking about this on Twitter. You're going to be doing one of those things. You're going to be doing one of those things. Either you're going to come off the hiatus back on YouTube or you're going to sidestep on Twitter and respond that way. Or option number three, like I know you're going to do, probably will do. You're going to take it like a bitch and say nothing. And that's what I expect for you to do. Take it like a bitch. Say nothing. Actually listen to the entire video before you call me a hater. I wouldn't respond to you. I wouldn't even talk about you if you didn't have shit to say about me. I'm not a fan of you. The fuck? 23 views, I'm jealous of you clout chasing. The fuck kind of world we live in? Learn what clout chasing is, motherfucker. (laughs) What kind of response will you have for this? Nothing. So shut the fuck up about me. Oh, where your heart is picking on me? Nobody's going to believe that shit. You're dumb. Pretty soon, people are going to be tired of defending your ass. The tide is going to turn quick. They're going to go from, oh, where are you hiding? Why are you talking about this woman? To, oh, well, awesomeness, you know, it really wouldn't happen if you didn't start no shit with him. That's why he keeps talking about you and keep roasting the shit out of you. God damn, bro, you're so fucking annoying. Talking about people behind your backs, knowing that they're blocked, you're in your safe place. You're in La La Land. Nobody can tell you what's right or wrong. That's what a bitch does. Oh. And like I said, don't say no shit about me. And I won't say no. And I won't even do a video on you. Just keep it quiet. Or else I'm going to rain on your fucking vacation. You call a hiatus. This might rain on you so bad, this will trigger a response. Awesomeness, 
unless you're ready to unblock me with shit I gotta say, fuck you. Do not talk about me. Hit that like button if you're not buying the Washington cockroaches hype. Hit that like button if you are not TikTok thotting. Hit that like and subscribe button if you want the realness. The realness about my team, the realness about Washington team, the realness about all of it, all 32 teams. That's what you're subscribed to. We don't TikTok thought and hope that things happen. We keep it real on this channel. Fuck all that other shit. Hit that like button. Y'all my people. <laughs>